Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Mike Fairhurst. Um, I've been working for a little over a year on a analysis plugin for Angular Dart. Let's see. And next, there we go. Um, so the analysis plugin is a plugin to the Angular to the uh, Dart analysis server, which is a common backend for all of the IDEs that are supported by uh, supported by the Dart team uh, and the community. Um, so by plugging into the analysis server, we're able to expose some of the same language features uh, right in the IDE of your choice. Uh, this can include uh, auto completion and things like that. Uh, the API that we're using is uh, we're the first first user, so the API may be a little bit unstable but we are excited for other potential uses of it as well. Um, for our plugin, we are fully open sourced, um, and so we're hoping that people will see this demo. Uh, they will want to give it a try, um, give us feedback, because we think it's really, really great, and so we're hoping we can make it part of the core Angular Dart offering. Um, so yes, it's static analysis, so it, it catches your errors, um, but as a creator, I think it is a little bit more than that. Um, so it can actually serve as a form of documentation, which is right at your fingertips. Um, so auto-completion is you know, like doing a control F, except it's context aware, right? Uh, and more than simple lookups, you know, if we talk semantics, you know, Angular uh, templates have some interesting rules you might not be aware of, maybe you've never bumped into. Um, this plugin is going to know all of them. Uh, it's really hard to, to document some of that behavior, so instead we can have it right at your fingertips. If you trip one of these corner cases, um, then it's going to alert you right away, uh, and we're hoping that it gives you actionable feedback or at least Googleable terms so that you don't have to go to Stack Overflow. Um, and then luckily, Angular Dart is a very, very static framework, uh, much more static than AngularJS. Um, so we, are, we think that we can catch a lot of your issues, though we do avoid uh, dependency injection because, yeah, someone once proved that it was NP Heart, so we didn't touch that. Um, so I did have technical problems, but I have slides here. Um, it's what you get for using Linux on a laptop. So I, uh, this is basically just the Angular Quick Start project. I've made some additions to you know, break things so we can see how it works in an invalid app. Uh, you can see all of the errors are highlighted in red, in my, which is my uh, little template on the right side. Um, so we use, Ang we use Dart because we want static type checking when it's available. So just the ability to find this length misspelling, it's underlined in red, right? you can see it instantly, super, super easy to fix. Um, but it can catch more complicated errors too. So it says here, you know, that bound output key release does not exist on any directives. You know, so, so the immediate question is what does exist? And maybe we would go to MDN, maybe we would go to uh, ask our coworker, look at code we've written before. Uh, well, now you can just autocomplete. Um, so you can instantly see, you just need key. So you can instantly see that uh, you know it's key release, not key you know key up, not key release, um, and instantly fix it. Uh, additionally, once you have this uh, event configured correctly, it's going to catch something which which I bet money none of you caught when I showed the earlier slides. Um, so the Angular plugin is uh, is going to be smarter than you. Uh, it catches a mismatch in the event variable type itself, something you never write down yourself, um, but it's going to track that through the program and say. You know, your component defined close window with a mouse event, but key up is, is a keyboard event. Uh, you no longer have to run your tests to find the failure. It's right there. Um, it also catches missing directives. Uh, really, really critical thing that happens all the time. People put in behavior that just doesn't do anything because you did include the directive. Uh, and now it's super, super easy to fix. Um, and then many Angular Dart users here probably went quite a while before ever learning about transclusions. Um, so transclusions are defined by this template down here. So it's actually going to be in the template of a component that you're using in your own template of your own component. And it's kind of configured in a way that's great for writing a component, but nothing else. You are always going to be really lucky if someone documents the way that this stuff works. Uh, and now you don't have to worry about whether you're lucky or not, because you can just autocomplete. Uh, and the plugin itself is going to know you're inside of a dialog. Uh, it's going to know what uh, transclusion selectors are available, and it's going to generate HTML tags, complete with properties in this case, which are required, uh, in order to, to get you working just productively right away. So um, yeah, so hopefully everyone tries it out. Um, anyone who's using Angular Dart, you just have to add these four lines to your analysis options. Uh, restart your analysis server and give it a few minutes. It's going to download, uh, and it's going to you know, use pub resolve uh, dependencies and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're on GitHub. so. Uh, you know, we hope you like it, and if not, like, definitely let us know. 
um, you know, file bugs and questions, and uh, you can email me. And then best of all, uh, while I'm here, you know, take, take some time if you can to fire this up on your project. Some of its errors may be confusing. Uh, I would love to, to help you out with it if you bring your laptop over and uh, see what, what it catches for you and, and go from there. Thanks.